Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are tipped to be heavily involved in Prince Charles' coronation despite stepping back from royal duties two years ago. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit their roles as working members of the royal family back in 2020. Following their decision, Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, moved to California where they now reside with their two children, two-year-old Archie and Lilibet Lily Diana who celebrates her first birthday in June. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex received the Queen's permission to leave the firm in order to live as private citizens. Despite moving across the pond and away from royal life, the Queen has said that the Sussexes will always be much-loved members of the royal family. When stepping back Meghan and Harry declared their intentions to be financially independent. Since then, the couple has pursued business ventures including signing deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, taking on roles with startup companies and launching their own charitable foundation. Members of the public would assume that after moving across the pond and stepping back from duties, Meghan and Harry would be ruled out of playing any significant role in the crowning of the next monarch. However, as the son and daughter-in-law of the new king, they hold incredibly significant positions. As a result, Harry and his family may be encouraged to take part as much as they like at Charles' coronation and will be involved in wider photos, according to royal commentator Christine Ross. Ms. Ross claims that the heirs to the throne, Charles, William and George, will be placed prominently at the ceremony, and their families alongside them. The royal commentator told the Royal Us podcast, because of that historical moment where you have Charles, William, and George, we'll probably see them front and center and their families front and center. But, I do imagine that Charles will want a larger family group shot of the existing royal family. She added, I do think that Harry would be a part of that and Meghan may be as well if she wanted to be. Prince Charles and his wife Camilla will reportedly be crowned alongside one another when he ascends to the throne. Moreover, royal insiders have said that the Prince of Wales plans to have a smaller ceremony than previous coronations. The rumoured plans mark a radical change from the coronation of Elizabeth II, who had been queen for 16 months by the time of her lavish coronation ceremony in 1953. A total of 8,251 guests attended the Queen's coronation ceremony at Westminster Abbey, which Dr. Robert Morris from University College London's Constitution Unit described as quite an undertaking. The Queen's was the first coronation ceremony to be televised, with BBC cameras installed inside the Abbey. Earlier this month, Charles and Camilla celebrated the 17th anniversary of the Queen's accession to the throne ahead of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. In a special message released for her accession day, Her Majesty gave her backing to Camilla, declaring her sincere wish for her to be known as Queen Consort when Charles becomes King. The monarch's gesture provides clarification on the issue after Clarence House previously said Camilla would be known as Princess Consort, and many had speculated that this would change when the time comes. The head of state said in the written message, I would like to express my thanks to you all for your support. I remain eternally grateful for and humbled by, the loyalty and affection that you continue to give me. And when, in the fullness of time, my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me, and it is my sincere wish that, when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service.